The M1 Mac Mini is such an amazing computer. I've had it for almost two years. So come this fall, I will have had this computer for two years and it's just done everything without any issue whatsoever. The only one problem I had was in the beginning when I had trouble connecting my Bluetooth Logitech K780 keyboard. After that, nothing has been an issue. Whether it's been video editing, stuff for my business, my personal work, everything has been working flawless. Not yet have I had any kind of hiccup whatsoever. I know the new Mac Studio is out and as tempting as that might look, and I am so sure that that is gonna be such a capable, such a powerful machine. The only problem is it's just overkill for people like you and me. It's just too much. So I wanna share why I've loved this computer as much as I have and why it is still a great value option for you and me. First and foremost, let's talk about versatility. That's one of my favorite things about this computer. The fact that you can just hook up your own monitor, your own keyboard, your own trackpad, mouse, whatever kind of setup is suitable for you, you can hook that up with this little computer and you'll be happy. And going forward, as years progress, and let's say you want an even higher resolution monitor, or you wanna change your keyboard, your trackpad, you'll be able to do that while still retaining the same powerful computer. Because I'm pretty sure it is going to last the test of time because it has so far and I have not seen one hiccup so far and I have no reason to believe that this isn't going to do well in the long run. For me personally, it's been in two different setups. My smaller desk and I'm one of those people that as soon as my workload exceeds my setup, I make a change. And all I changed was my desk. I went from a smaller desk to a bigger desk. I didn't change the computer because I haven't done anything yet to exceed the amount of performance that this thing can put out. It's just absolutely amazing. The other thing I love is the design of it. It just is nice and slim. It looks so great. Definitely doesn't look like a cheap computer by any means. And one thing that's really awesome, like this is a larger desk, but this is the perfect kind of computer to put in smaller setups. I think it's great for putting in somebody's room. So like if you've got a smaller desk in your room, maybe you've got a smaller office space, this is going to be perfect because you can, again, it goes back to versatility that you can set this up with the right kind of monitor that is great for you and you'll be good to go. And you won't have to worry about making a change until you need to. And even when you do make a change, you'll be able to still retain the same machine because it's a beast. It's, it's just that simple. It's more than enough capable for the average person. And that includes myself. Now, another thing I'd like to discuss is performance. Apple's single system on a chip has just changed things and it is progressing so fast. Like we already saw the M1 Pro, M1 Max chips, and now the M1 Ultra chip that is going to be in the Mac Studio as an option. It's just insane what they're doing. But this M1 at its base spec is more than enough. It's able to handle everything. Like I think the most intricate thing that I do that you might not do at home is video edits. Other than that, I do everything that you do. And it's just as simple as that. I do everyday tasks that you're gonna be doing, you know? So for it to be able to handle all my video editing needs without any kind of issue, it's been absolutely amazing. And I don't even have that intricate of a workflow. But what I did was I went out and I looked at other people and their setups, and they were able to also get amazing performance for their footage, their footage that was even more intense than mine. Now, last but not least, I wanna talk about value. This, at its price point, is such a valuable computer. Now, here's what's gonna happen is you have a bunch of people that are going to want to upgrade. They're going to want to get the Mac Studio. That's just how it is. Let those people upgrade. Because if you go on Facebook Marketplace right now or your local classifieds, I'm pretty sure you're gonna find some pretty cool deals on these M1 Mac Minis. See, 
I know you might be like, but I want to buy a computer new. I, trust me, I am the same way. But this is not a laptop that somebody would be taking around all the time. This M1 Mac Mini is going to be sitting on somebody's desk. And if you can get it at a value price from someone, like for example, locally, I saw this computer with a magic keyboard and a magic mouse for $500. $500. That is absolutely insane. Like for me, the, I mean, to be able to buy that much computer at that bargain price point is absolutely amazing. So that is a good alternative to think about as opposed to just going and buying this thing new. Even if you are looking for a 16 gigabyte one, let's say you don't want the base model and you want the increased RAM and you really think it's going to help you in the long run, then you can find a good deal on one of those as well. I personally really, really would encourage you to go out there and look on your local classifieds as opposed to just buying this brand new from Apple. I have really, really loved the M1 Mac Mini. And apart from this video, I have made multiple reviews that even go into detail. This is such an amazing machine. It's so capable and till now it's been more than enough for what I need to do. And I really think that this is the one to go for because it's just going to offer you a bunch of things like performance, versatility, and it should be perfectly fine even in the long run. And like I said, like to future proof yourself, you can go with a 16 gigabyte RAM variant. But for me personally, I went with the base model. Like, honestly, I was very skeptical when buying it. That's why I didn't want to add in so many things and then realize that I'm just going to return the computer. So I was like, you know what? Let's see what the base model does. That's why I went with the base model and I've been happy. I have everything stored on my actual SSD that's connected to the computer. I don't store any files on here. Even folders like these that are on my desktop, they're all in iCloud. And so it's worked out for me perfectly fine. And I'm pretty sure that if you go out and get the base model, you're going to be really, really happy. Thank you for your time. This was, I, I just wanted to reiterate how much I love this computer and how great of an option it's been for me and my workflow. And it's continued to be a great option. And so if you're on the fence, like trying to think about whether or not you want to spend that $2,000 for that base model Mac Studio or go for something like this, I would highly encourage you to go for the M1 Mac Mini. Thank you for your time. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.